friends, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I am the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube. And today I'm here to tell you how to make a, a mini album with just paper cups. Yep, a little bit of time and six paper cups and you too can make a sweet little mini album. Here's how. I was um, inspired on this project by Mr. Victor Crafter here on YouTube and I found him through Shannon Green who's also here on YouTube. Um, Victor is a gentleman from Ukraine and he makes such interesting projects. He is really clever in using found materials and recently he made two um, little albums from using uh, coffee cups, uh, soda cups, and mm, I think there was an ice cream cup in there. And so um, I just thought, oh, that sounds like fun. Now, Victor used all different size cups um, and different kinds of cups. He did two different albums. One, um, he took the, uh, of course, you take the bottom out of the cup, he took the cup and cut it up the seam and then opened opened the cup up to make uh, pages that way. And he sewed it in onto a, a oh, chipboard or a cardboard cover that he had covered, you know, and um, bound it that way. But the second cup, he, um, yes, cut the bottom of the cup out, but then he just flattened the cup and used that flattened those flattened cups to make his uh, mini album and that's the one that inspired me I mean I used his idea and kinda took off from there did some changes from what he did but um, I really have to thank him because he is just really a genius at using found items to make things um, living in Ukraine oh that's not to say that he doesn't have access to any uh, crafting supplies, but it isn't like for us just a quick trip to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joanne's or Artorama or whatever, you know. So he really makes more things from whatever he can get his hands on, you know. So um, anyway, that's what I want to share share with you today. In order to um, make the cup. We need to get rid of this bottom. And I used um, cups that I bought from the Dollar Tree, uh, 12 in a package for a dollar. And they're really nice. They're really nice and sturdy cups. You can get, you know, probably at your grocery store or Target or, you know, paper cups are ubiquitous. Would you say that? It's, is that the word, I think, for being everywhere? Anyway, um, I don't drink soda or coffee. really don't care for them. And so I don't have a ready supply of recycled cups. Uh, Victor used all different sizes of cups and different kinds of cups to put those together for his album. And he made covers uh, for his album then because his kind of to unify the different sizes of cups that he had. But I'm just using six, uh, these are nine, in, nine ounce cups, and at least at Dollar Tree, you can get ten different colors, plus they have some, oh, themed cups, you know, like for children's birthday parties or for um, showers and weddings and things like that. So, <clears throat> anyway, we have to get rid of this. The bottom here and Victor used um I gotta poke a hole in here. There we go. Um Victor used little scissors to do this job, but I just I just used um a steak knife and you might think, oh my what are you gonna do with the kind of rough edge that you have? left in there. I'm just following along 
the edge of the cup here and I'll turn it around so you can see there's what I cut out and here's my cup now um, it really doesn't matter because uh, what it looks like um, I'm just pressing down now any of the, the little the little uh, edge to make it smooth to the you know to the outside of the cup just kind of smoothing it with my fingernails um, it doesn't really matter what it looks like in there because uh, you're this is it isn't going to show you know all right the next thing we need to do then is to unfurl this rolled edge and you just have to go around a couple times and just catch it with your thumb and unroll that rolled edge okay so I'll we'll just keep working it working it down it's a little fiddly but once you get it going it's okay and this edge, there we go, um, Victor left his on, and he had uh, made a cover, and of course his cups were all different sizes. He had um, even an ice cream cup, I think he used, his soda and a couple kinds of uh, coffee cups and a couple sizes of soda cups. And I think the ice cream was the smallest. Anyway, I'm just working with my fingernail now a little bit to kind of get that all straightened out the best uh, that I can. Um, as I say, Victor left his, left that edge on. But um, since I planned not to make a cover, a separate cover, I wanted a really smooth edge there. I didn't you know, want to leave this this uncurled or unfurled edge. So, um, in just the next step, we can take that off. Okay, the third thing you need to do is then to fold right along right along the seam where the paper comes around and um, you know wraps under the first side. So you just fold right along that seam and then just kind of work your fingers over to the other side to make it as even as you can when you do your fold and um, kind of run your get your bone folder or get your um, oh, I think you could even run it through your big shot I know I had one lady when I was talking about this on Facebook, and she said, well, how did you get your cups to uh, to lie flat? And they are, you know, at the beginning, they are bouncy. There's no getting around that, but um, I was able to make mine lay flat in the end. So you have to kind of work with them a little bit. And then... Um, I put glue in this end. Victor did not do that in, on his album. Um, I just thought if you wanted to use the other end of the cup for a pocket that you would want that closed. Okay. So I put um, some Scotch quick dry glue just into just inside the the bottom edge of the cup and then I use let me reach down here <clears throat> um, because these cups are you can see they're shiny they're not waxed um, I don't think it would make a difference if you did mm, it might for the glue kind of glue that you used but you can make you really use any kind of cup as long as it's paper. Plastic won't work. Um, after I got the glue in here, then I used uh, little clamps 
to put all along the edge. I just have one on there now. But um, I actually put three along the edge after I got the glue on there and just, you know, if there was any that kind of oozed out this way, it really doesn't matter if it oozes the other way because that's inside. But I put that uh, glue on and then just left that for maybe 10-15 minutes because these cups are so bouncy that even though you have the quick dry glue, um, you know, it, it can kind of want to pull away. I haven't tried yet because this is just my first album that I made. Uh, if you could use maybe hot glue, I don't know, um, some other kind of really like uh, Fabri-Tac, is it Fabri-Tac, is really um, sticky, um, Helmers, Helmers, yeah, um, maybe, maybe even double-sided like red sticky tape or something, that, that stuff, um, you're just going to have to try out, but if you use these cups, <laughs> I do know for sure that the, uh, Scotch quick dry tacky glue does work and it holds it and I've had mine all together probably a week now and yeah that's that's working real well now <clears throat> once you get your uh, bottom edge uh, glued then you want to cut off this furled edge and you'll be able to see there's a line right where the smooth paper ends and all this kind of wrinkly stuff begins and I'm not going to cut mine off right now because I have my album to show you but um, you'll get you'll get a, a real nice cut then and this this business here you know of this kind of smoochy poochy part here you won't have to deal with that and I found that my pages laid better after I had my pattern paper glued on too but if you, you're having any trouble with getting your pages to lie as flat as you would like once you have this glue dry then you could just put um, put the pages you could even stack them up or individually put them under a heavy can or a heavy book or whatever kind of weight that you can get and um, I know one of the ladies on Facebook was saying how do you get the pages to lie fly flat and they really do so <clears throat> here's my little book oh I've got this on here because so I want to show you how that works I'll take that off for now um yeah, this is this is how my little book came together, and you can see that now my pages are are lying real. F you know, there's a there's a little space in there, uh, enough room so that you can put something in, but they're um, they're not bouncy anymore, and um, they're laying lying together, laying together all just real nicely. Victor found the book that he where he cut his cups open he did that um, with um, some kind of twine or heavy string and sewed that you know into like a signature into his cover but his other one he used uh, book rings and so that's what I did too okay I'll open this up I had these in here just to measure what size pictures you could put in. So again, this is a nine inch cup, but if you used, you know, the bigger coffee or latte cups, I don't do any of that. So I don't know about those too much, but, or bigger soda cups, you know, you'd have a much bigger, a more real estate to work with in your album. And I haven't decorated this. I just um, made the pages and put the pattern paper on. I'm not even sure exactly uh, which uh, direction I'm going to use this uh, little book if I'm going to use it this way you know and turning the pages like that
Okay, or if I'm going to use it this way, you know, make it up, up and down, and open the pages, you know, up like that. Um, and whether I put a picture in and then journaling place, or could be recipes, or um, you know, you could make it an inspirational little book with um, Bible verses or um, little mottos or sayings in it. I don't, I really don't know yet just what I'm going to um, to do. These, these cups come in ten colors, some pastels and some, you know, like, oh, deeper tones, there's even black ones. Um, so you could make, I just bought white ones because I wanted to do that for my first trial and use pattern paper, but really you could buy, say, three colors and, you know, alternate your cups so that you would have um, different color pages, or you could use um, two, one color for the front and back cover, and then um, a different color for your four interior pages. Um, that'd be kind of up to you. Once I got one page or one cup glued and cut, then I used that edge as a template to cut all the other edges so that my my edges are very um, even and smooth. Even though it looks symmetrical, when you go to cut your pattern paper, you really need to remember that you'll cut as many right-hand pages as you need and then reverse your template to make the left-hand pages, or you could fold your pattern paper right sides together so that the side, side that you want to see is folded inside. Then, so it'll be like this, then put your template on and cut it, or trace around it, and then cut it, and then when you open that up, you will have um, a left and a right page because if you cut them all to this, to this, the right hand pattern, th when you turn that around and, and put those right hand page, uh, pattern papers on, they're not going to fit over here and you're going to have to fool with it. So, what I did was trace. Just trace on some copy paper around the outside of my page and then cut in side um, with my you know with my scissors just like an eighth of an inch to get um, a template for my uh, pattern paper. If you were going to make a bunch of these like for to give them out to as thank you gifts, or in a rack, or uh, in a swap where you need to make a number of something, uh, or maybe for a shower, or some other kind of party, or even, I thought these would be cute, you know, to give to kids in their classroom, because um, the kids could put their school pictures of their friends in these because um, I think it would be about the size of those little um, wallet size photos that the kids trade. So anyway, um, talking about pictures here, I had these, these are three by three um, sticky notes or post-it notes. So that just so you can see that a 3x3 three three photo uh, will fit on this page either way. Um, so you could do that. And if you put 
I like um, a photo here and then use this side for journaling or whether you turned it this way and did that you could do that the other thing I thought I could cut different shaped little frames like an oval and a circle and a square and a rectangle and a heart and a star I'm trying to think what else what other ones there might be maybe um an octagon, a hexagon, could make you know little frames that you could run through your um, embossing folder and you know, use inks to color the raised part. Um, you could make some nice little frames that were just sized like this. Um, I have a scan and cut. You could, well, you could just cut those out yourself, you know, just with um, scissors, but. Um, if you have a silhouette or a cricket, you know, that would make short work of it. If you were going to make a bunch of these, as I started to say before, you could actually make a cut file of your uh, pattern papers. So your left and right page and just have your, um, your cutting machine do the work for you. So I'm um, just trying to think what else I wanted to say. Oh, oh, I know what. About the, yeah, I got sidetracked there. About uh, binding your book. When it came to um, putting the holes in for the rings, and these are inch rings, and it is, you know, that's fairly, it's it's not at all bindy. It doesn't pull. There's plenty of room there. But, um, you know, if you have different size cups, you're going to have to pay attention to that or if you're going to do um, pretty thick embellishments on your pages. You want to pay attention to that. When I went to figure out how to do my, where to, Put the punches in, and I used my crocodile to do that. Okay, and I used the three sixteenths hole for that. I made a template of my pages. I fold a page and folded it in half once, and then I folded it in half again so that you know my edges were together here. That gave me a line. This is the middle of one half. You know, that gave me a line to punch. And the beauty of that is, is, is that then your holes are halfway between the middle and the outside edge, edge between the middle and the outside edge. So that your um, you know holes look neat and are are um, exactly spaced. Now, as far as how far to go in from the edge, um, these are the three sixteenth holes, and I would say that um, I was about three sixteenths in from the edge of my book too. But you're, you're going to have to just see because um, every cup could be, you know, even if you bought them from a different, um, got them, say, from Target or something, everyone could be a little different. Or just how tightly you get your cup pushed together there, all of those things, are, or how thick your I know I've had some of these rings that are a little thinner. These are little thicker ones. Um, that all kind of plays into that. So you might want to make, again, make a template of your page, a couple of those, and try um, opening your book out, uh, opening them out to see how your rings fit. You might need inch and a half rings if you're going to use more pages or if you put eyelets in the holes 
or if you have you know fatter embellishments you might get those you might want to use inch and a half rings on this okay the the kind of fiddly part of this is that you don't have a straight line here on your binding it's a curved line and if you get this pulled in too tightly these points on the, the top and the bottom edges are going to bind against each other so that's why you know you do have to play with it a little bit especially if you're using some other size cups or multi size cups like um like Victor did, where he had, you know, some big coffee cups and big soda cups, and then he had a, you know, a smaller ice cream cup, and um, it seemed like a smaller cup from maybe from McDonald's or something. So you know, that's that's an item that you wanna pay attention to. Let me think. Is there anything else that I need to share about this? Um, I just think, I just think they're darling, and um, you can get two albums if you put six six cups together to make um, an album. You can get two, out uh, two for a dollar. You know, two out of your uh, twelve cup pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Otherwise, you could put, um, you know, fewer fewer cups in, or you could put more cups in. It just depends on what you. You know, how you want to work it. But anyway, um, I'll be anxious to hear and see what happens with yours, and um, I'll keep working on mine. I don't even know for sure. I, I thought it'd be fun to put some maybe lace along this outside edge, or maybe not do something else. Um, could you could have a closure here. This lays pretty flat, but once you get pictures in there, you know, it's going to push it apart a little bit. Um, I was thinking really that I could put ribbon into this front pocket and close that up and in the back pocket and close that up with glue so that you could have a, a, a ribbon closure. Now, that wouldn't be as convenient if you wanted to... Um, use your album in in this oh what do you call that anyway <laughs> which way you want to do it yeah um rather than this way um if you do it up and down like this then you the stuff will probably fall out your pocket so that's not you wouldn't want to plan to use the pockets then if you were going to use it in this way but you certainly could um, and I don't think the things will fall out I think those pages are um, especially when they get up into here where you when you push something in there I think it they're tight enough that the stuff will if you use little tags they would stay in there so um, okay that's my project for today my paper cup album and I say thank you to Mr. Victor Crafter for the inspiration and um, I'll be looking forward to hearing or talking with you and seeing if anybody else picks this idea.